Hi, welcome back to Ahead of the Curve, the Scoliosis Experience. I'm your host, Dr. Megan Teed, and we are back with another great episode for you. Um, this is a very commonly asked question from people who are not my clients, just um, scoliosis warriors and um, some of my followers on Instagram, I get this pretty often. And the question is, should I do yoga with scoliosis? And by the end of this episode, you will have a good understanding as to your rationale for either choosing to do yoga or choosing not to do yoga. Um, so this is actually something that is commonly recommended by doctors for someone who has scoliosis and it's kind of just prescribed haphazardly by doctors who don't really have a good understanding of the pathophysiology of scoliosis and the underlying, you know, reasons for the curvature and the imbalances that are occurring in the body. So it's kind of something like when um, swimming is recommended to people that have scoliosis as well, it's just something that doctors like to prescribe because it seems like it's a good gentle form of exercise, good for cardiovascular endurance and things of that sort. So I want to start off by saying that doing yoga is not going to cure your scoliosis. So if you're someone who has been prescribed yoga by your doctor and you're looking into it um, as a form of exercise, that's going to be a corrective form of exercise. That's actually not accurate. That's not true. So um, Yoga is not going to correct your curve. It's not going to give you more balance and symmetry of your spine. It is, it could help with pain um, just purely by the fact that you're moving. Uh, movement is great for scoliosis. So uh, with that said, if you love yoga and you're not experiencing a ton of pain, I'm not going to sit here and tell you that you should stop doing yoga. Um, I, I will say that there are some things that maybe you should consider if you are concerned about your curve progression, if you are concerned about pain, yoga may not be the greatest choice for you with traditional yoga. Uh, doing traditional yoga with scoliosis may not be the, uh, the best form of exercise for you. And, you know, I, I hate saying any absolutes when it comes to movement because there are athletes, there are, um, plenty of people who do extreme sports with scoliosis and they're successful and they are wonderful at it. And, um, they do just fine. So if you are one of those people, you love to do yoga and your body feels great doing it, keep doing it. That's fine. Um, I will recommend that you do some form of elongation after you've done a traditional yoga class. So hanging from a pull-up bar, doing a series of shoulder elevation and depression, um, doing maybe just a little bit of a flow um, just to get those rotational energies out of your body after you've done yoga where you're putting your body into torsioned positions for maybe an hour, hour and a half at a time. I'm going to explain next why traditional yoga tends not to be the greatest form of exercise for scoliosis. So when you consider scoliosis, if you aren't watching this on YouTube, I'm doing a little demonstration right now with a scoli wedge. When we consider a vertebrae of someone who has scoliosis, there is a torsion to that vertebrae, okay? So most people that without scoliosis, 
they have a cylinder as their vertebrae. So um, imagine that this is kind of the, the body of your vertebrae and it's equal all around that cylinder, it's symmetrical. So I'm taking both ends of this wedge, I'm holding on to them and I'm twisting them. And that's actually what our vertebrae end up doing with scoliosis. There's an actual torsion to the structure of your vertebrae. And when you go and you do more rotation, so we already have this rotated vertebrae, and then you go and you do an end range twist with this already twisted vertebrae. Um, it's just increasing those asymmetrical pressures on your spine. And then when you go and you do side bending in addition to the rotation, it even more so furthers that torsion and the imbalances. It reinforces the curve that we have instead of countering the curve. And when we're doing corrective exercise, that's our goal. Our goal is to, instead of feeding those imbalances, increasing the torsion on the spine, we're trying to do the opposite. We're trying to decrease the torsion of the spine, increase the, um, the symmetry of the spine and the loading of our vertebrae. So um, again, this is not a form of exercise that is going to be corrective in nature. There are some scoli friendly yoga alternatives. So I wanna share those with you. Uh, I'm not a specialist in yoga and uh, maybe in the future, I'll have one of these specialists on here who uh, offer a lot of scoli friendly yoga options. And one of those people is um, Christine from Yoga Berry. Uh, she is now called Move with Scoliosis, and she offers a lot of online scoli friendly yoga options. So they do traditional yoga, but we they keep in mind um, your curve. So you're not going into those end range side bending and rotational movements when you're going through the, the yoga exercises. Um, things are a little bit more modified. Uh, another great resource is Meredith Weiss of Kyoko Therapy. You can find her on Instagram under Kyoko Therapy. She offers some classes as well that are scoli friendly for yoga. And she also has done some trainings in the past for instructors. So if you are a yoga instructor, if you are a physical therapist, a movement professional, and you want to learn a little bit more about how to instruct someone with scoliosis in yoga postures and positions. She is also a really great resource. So this was a quickie today, um, but this is really important information. I think that there's a lot of people who love to do yoga and they either feel like they have to stop or, um, you know, they're just not sure what other options there are out there for them. It's important. The most important thing is that you continue to move. If you have scoliosis, do not stop moving. That's the worst thing that you could do for your spinal health and the way that you're feeling. So finding a form of exercise that you enjoy, that is your priority. And then um, if you love doing yoga, continue doing it. Just try to do some elongation afterward to get the rotational energies out of your muscles. And um, there are some really great scoli friendly yoga alternatives out there. So uh, those will be listed in the show notes, either on YouTube or in Apple Podcasts. 
And yeah, that's really it for today. If you are looking for ways to begin working on your scoliosis, but you don't have much time to dedicate right now, you can join my scoliosis movement boot camp and begin making improvements in the way that you are feeling in as little as five minutes or less a day by adjusting the way that you're sitting, you're doing laundry, and carrying your groceries. Uh, that is also linked in the show notes below, and I hope that you have a great rest of your day. We will catch you next week.